everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm here at Normal House today with nothing really to do, and that's despite the fact that we've experienced exactly the kind of warming that the contractor said that we were waiting for. They said, you know, we couldn't do the concrete until things warmed up. We've had two or three days where things have warmed up. The snowmen are all starting to melt. The ground is all starting to melt. This is exactly what we were waiting for. And now uh, the contractor is saying that he's not hearing back from his concrete person, uh, that they're not returning any of his phone calls. So I'm recording this right now in the middle of January. We've got exactly what we were hoping for. And now the concrete people aren't uh, returning our calls. We were supposed to be next in line for them, so I don't know. I, you know, I, I have no idea. I have no idea. Maybe they're trying to squeeze other people in. Uh, that I don't know, but we we got exactly what we were waiting for, and we can't take advantage of it because people aren't getting back to us. It's still frustrating, even though I know this is part of the deal. I've done uh, three uh, building. Well, this is my third major building project, and the previous two were always like this. Just people said that they were going to be available, and they're not. And yeah, you know, I. I I hate for the entire lead up to this project beginning to be just all this kind of stuff about, you know, getting let down and people not doing what they're supposed to do. But uh, to be honest, that's kind of what a lot of it is. And if you go into the process not realizing that that is going to be part of it, you're going to think that you're doing something wrong. Uh, you're going to think that, you know, you know, this is just much more difficult than you were thinking it was going to be. And it's important when you're going into a building project to just realize that the vast majority of the people that you interact with are not going to do what they say that they're going to do. They're very good about, you know, sending out bills and all that kind of stuff. But when it comes to actually showing up and being there, uh, you know, when they say they're going to be there and when you need them, it's just not always the case. And that's all the more reason why I can't wait to be past this part of the process about pouring the foundation and everything so that I can just get to the part that I can do myself, which is the carpentry, putting up the walls and all that. Because then, if stuff's not getting done, I have nobody to blame but myself, and, um, you know, that's the person that I want to be fixating on, about <laughs> whether, uh, you know, I'm pulling my weight or not, because I'm the only person that I can really um, control, ultimately. I'm the only person that I have ultimate control over, so as much of the process that I can put in my hands, the better. I mean, that's the whole thing about preparedness, prepping, all this kind of stuff, is trying to be as self-sufficient as you can, so you don't have to depend on things and people which we all know or we should know ultimately are very frequently not dependable. Oh, it's a beautiful day though today. It's like 50 degrees. It's really awesome. I wish we could be doing some concrete work today. We'll see. You know, maybe it'll last a few more days and we'll be able to squeeze it in, but at this point the people that are needed are just MIA and nobody knows where they are. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.